Hi, it's Tony Hughes. Uh, I want to talk to you about what it takes to really be successful. Uh, eight weeks ago, I had a giant wake-up call in my life. I was in a hospital in the cardiological uh, surgery theatre, uh, and I had a stent put in my heart. As it turns out, I was 99% blocked and a hair's breadth away from death. I'm okay now. Uh, in the last uh, six weeks, I've really worked hard to do what I need to do to have a long, healthy life. I want to see my kids uh, walk down the aisle for their weddings. I want to get to know my grandkids. Uh, but here's the lesson and the analogy for all of us in business and sales. Before I got in, went into hospital and discovered I had this problem, I thought I was fit enough and I thought I was doing uh, enough to stay healthy and stay alive. But the reality was that I wasn't doing anywhere near what it takes to really be healthy. Uh, I was eating too much bad food. I wasn't sleeping well. I was living a life where I was always on um, and I was overweight and I was doing enough exercise to kid myself into believing that I was fit enough. Uh, people looked at me and thought I would have been okay, but the truth is I wasn't. And you know, what I find in business and in sales is the world is filled with people that do enough to not feel guilty uh, about their performance, but they don't do what it takes to actually be successful. You might be a manager watching this and maybe you've had the epiphany that the key to retaining your staff and getting the most out of them is to build emotional connection with them, to take a personal interest. If that's the case, you need to move beyond the discipline of taking an interest in people to really forming the habit of spending time with them and caring about them to build that emotional connection. If you're a salesperson, maybe you pick up the phone a few times a week and do a little bit of outbound and you send email, emails. The truth is most people aren't doing a tenth of what it takes to really be successful. So for me, with my health, I've gone past wishing for lower bad cholesterol in my blood. I've gone past wishing that I weighed less and wishing that I was fitter to the discipline that then moves into habits of staying healthy, of riding my bike, of doing exercise every day, of eating the right food, uh, of not being always on late at night and then not sleeping well. For sellers, I really encourage you, you've got to start work by quarter to eight in the morning. You need to get on the phone, you need to drive outbound, you need to drive combinations of outreach that enable you to break through. You need to think about how do I progress opportunities every day and not just be a professional visitor and coffee drinker with people. We need purpose and drive in our life, but we also need balance. I really encourage you to think about what does it take to truly be successful and how do I move beyond discipline to actually form the habits that will give you the life and the lifestyle and the success that you really want.